evening, ladies as well as gentlemen, Papa Boris here, playing some more Shadow Tactics, Blades of the Shogun. Uh, at this part of the, or at this, the part of the video where I last existed, uh, that was a really great introduction, really eloquent. Uh, in the last video, we escaped from prison, we released Aiko. Next, we have to make it through this area and reunite with Mugen. Uh, I see how, uh, wow, wow, Takuma definitely just did some teabagging to Yumi. That, that, old man, I saw what you did. Don't think nobody saw, because cause, cause they saw. Uh, anyway, then we're going to reunite with Mugen, and then we just got to get out of here. So that's that's the uh, that's the, that's the mission right now. So what I'm going to do here is sneak in with Aiko. These guards are not doing a particularly great job sweeping the area. Okay. You know, could that have been more perfect, guys? Could, could that have been more perfect? I'm like, oh, these guards aren't doing a very good job. <laughs> I'm dead. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're going to sneak in with Aiko. Um, a little bit better. I th can she jump over? Can you can she jump? I, this wagon's really in my freaking way. Can she jump over here? Seriously, can you really not jump? Can you not jump over like a rock that's like one inch thick? Oh, there we go. Freaking thank you for doing your job. Oh, please. Oh, please. Get over there. Get over there. Yeah! Okay. That was uh, take two. Take two is a cut. And you know, I actually that might that might not that might have not even been a raised alarm. That I might have been okay there. All right, so I'm just trying to get to that building. I need to figure out where I can do a jump. On my way. Jump! Oh my god! Yeah, the, the controls are a little bit finicky. I I like that it's like it will automatically jump, so you can just feel like a like a boss ninja just like running around and stuff. But uh, there are times when I really would just like to jump, and it won't jump. You have to like put your mouse in the exact right place. Anyway, okay, so we're done. So we do this, and then we can climb up here. Now to get the disguise is a little bit, oh, did I just jump into his view cone? I just jumped into his view cone. Yeah, I did that. Uh, you might be thinking, no, surely Boris, it wasn't Boris who did that. Surely somebody messed with his controls. Maybe he got DDoSed uh, or something. Uh, no, no, that, that was me. That was on me, 100%. Grain-fed Midwestern cattle. Okay, so we gotta get to this Disguise, I think maybe I will wait. I know you're here. Can I just kill this guy right now? Okay, that wasn't really part of the plan, but I'll take it. Can I kill that guy? I know there's a samurai over here. Does the samurai see this guy? Oh, just barely. Okay. So, all right. Quick save. Got a free kill randomly. That's how you use snow, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a master class by Papa Boris. All right, so um, it's going to be tricky because I'm going to leave some footprints here. Maybe I can use that to my advantage. Let's try it. With haste. Let, me just, let me just leave some footprints. And then I'm going to hide over here. Oh, I can't. Oh, shit. I can't actually kill the guy because the samurai will see him die. Oh, my God. That was just outside the field of range of the samurai. Well, uh, there is a way to get this disguise um, and have it look cool, like you're actually good at this game. Unfortunately, you do not know what that is, and you're not going to see it in this video, because I sure as hell didn't do it. Um, let's go ahead and put on the disguise. Actually, weirdly, the disguise is not very helpful right now, because I need to get out from the range of view of the samurai, and to do that, I need to crouch. You cannot crouch while wearing the disguise, for some reason, I don't know. Although, you can kill people with a hairpin. You can totally... The f oh, there's a guard there? Are you kidding me? I... Wow. So, like I said, uh, even after you get the disguise, there are some challenges left to behold in the level. Like this guard who's just standing completely stationary and can easily be avoided, for example. Just as, a, just as an example. Just to use one example of a thing that is still there as a challenge in this level. Okay, let's go ahead and um, get past this guard. Uh, what I think I'm going to do is just get all the way past. Let me see. There's got to be some blind spot in here somewhere where I can just put the disguise on. Click save. Yeah, we should be fine. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run over here. Wait, that guard sees down there? My lord. Oh, wow, there is no blind spot anywhere. That's one of the tricky things about disguises is you have to like find a place where you can stand and not be seen. Okay. Alright, if I can if I can just get behind this guard. 
I should be fine. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay, let's do it. Perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna put the disguise on. You know, maybe I should have like thrown a stone to distract this guard or something. Chased him. I could have lured him away with the tanuki. Just out of field of view. Perfect. All right. Next. Um, why don't we have Yuki collect her trap? Fost and shop. Just like a good Japanese person would say. All right. Oops, 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 oops. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. That was the alarm being raised. Oh, God. Okay. This this guard should be really easy to kill. All I have to do is just lure him away from outside the field of view of the samurai, and it'll be, like, totally fine. Uh, one thing I enjoy about this game is that when you leave tracks, while wearing a disguise, nobody cares. But if you leave tracks while not wearing a disguise, then... And the guards will immediately be suspicious and investigate. Alright, here's the plan. Uh, what I'm going to do is, because these guards are really stupid, is I'm just going to leave... I'm just going to set the trap here, although I'm not sure if the guard will actually step on it. But I'm going to I'm gonna just leave a track, a footprint, so the guard will go investigate it, and then I'm going to run into this building for cover. He's not going to be suspicious of Aiko, of course, because she's wearing a disguise. I can also... Ha I can also... Oh, God. Okay, that somehow worked. I'm not exactly sure how. The guy did not go to the, to the to to this place. He just followed my trail of footprints right to the door. Luckily, uh, Aiko was there to deliver a hairpin kill, so it's all good. Now, the last bit is uh, we either need to sneak past or kill the samurai. And uh, pop quiz, guess which option I'm going to take. What? I don't want you to carry that body. I want you to get your damn trap, girl. Okay. All right, so let's see here. We're going to... That's That's a bit too much to run, I think. I think that might be a bit much to run. So what I'm going to do is run over here. And of course, you can use anyone for this. You can use Buki. You could use Hayato. Anyone, basically, anyone other than Takuma can come up here and deliver the killing blow. So we're just gonna just gonna hug the wall here. There we go. Oh, fuck. He saw my footprints and then went to kill me. All right. Well, uh, <clears throat> it's just always a challenge. Always a good time in this game. Actually, it's really tricky to get to this guy. Jeez, I'm, not, I'm just... I don't know how I did it in my previous games without, like, nary a conundrum, but, uh... Yeah, like, he'll see the footprints and he'll come investigate. Okay. Uh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try plan A again. I think plan A was a good plan. Yes. Um, I'm gonna go here. Alright, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna take Takuma. Where's Takuma? Oh, he's still where I, uh, had him to get bullets. Okay. Alright, here we go. So, for Yuki, we're gonna queue up. Running to kill that guard. Want a quick save? Take a shot and see if Yuki can run there fast enough. <laughs> She's crouching. She's 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 crouching over there. She's not running. She's just crouching. Luckily, those shots incapacitate the samurai for a good long while. All right, cool beans, beauty queens. Let's go ahead and quick save. And now, uh, this is one of the most annoying things I've encountered in this game. So the mission objective is everybody needs to go to where Mugen is. So everybody needs to go over here. Well, that's that's not the annoying part. The annoying part is that there is now an unskippable cutscene. I mean, you can click to advance the dialogue, but you cannot skip the cutscene wholesale for some bizarre reason. I guess they really wanted you to see it. It is a very emotional cutscene. Spoiler alert, Mugen decides to seppuku himself because he feels like he failed in his duty as a samurai. But the problem is that, um, you know, if you play this level multiple times, like if you're, I don't know, speed running or I uh, have already seen it before or are doing a video for it or whatever, you actually have to click through all this dialogue, and it's good. I recommend listening to it. It is a pretty, eh, it's a relatively well-written scene. It's kind of interesting. We find out that Aiko's pregnant, presumably with Mugen's baby. 
Um, and, you know, he kills himself. I, I guess it just doesn't resonate with me. Like, I just don't get it. I get that it's part of the culture and everything, but really, he could do a lot of good in this world uh, to try to, like, serve his Shogun from this point. Um, I, I think committing suicide just seems pretty pointless. But whatever. Uh, he does it. Bleeds out. And then for the rest of the game, there's there's a spot number three, which is for Mugen. But uh, he uh, is never going to be with us again. So I don't know. Uh, maybe they should have put Mugen at spot number five so that like it's a little bit easier to avoid. Otherwise, there's that three there that's just like always staring you in the face. And it's kind of cool now. Uh, people's people have little voiceover things when you select them and tell them to do things are a lot more bitter now and they're like super angry and shit. Okay, yeah, now we got to escape. Uh... Let's go ahead and use the disguise. Because this part of the level... Uh, again, there's there's definitely some tricky aspects to it. There's going to be some times where I just screw up and fail horribly, horribly, horribly. But um, it, it is definitely a really fun time. If you've ever felt like, man, I kind of wish I could use Ico more, you can use her a lot here. So you can use the hairpin to commit murder... Oh, seriously? What? Okay, that has never been a problem. I feel like a guy, like, saying, oh, that's never happened before. But, like, that really never happened before. I never had a tough time. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Did I not quick save? Um, here's another reason why an unskippable cutscene is a bad idea. If, uh, the person who's playing the game forgets to quick save and then has to load their game, they're gonna watch the whole fucking cutscene over again. Oh, good times. Oh, my God. Okay, so what should we talk? I, I, could, I could, of course, use video editing magic to get this to go away. I could do that. And maybe I will. M maybe these things that I'm saying right now are just gonna be lost to the abyss of space and memory and time. But maybe not. So, if I choose to be lazy and not do any video editing, then uh, what should we talk about here to pass the time? Well, why don't we talk about the fact that a game that has cutscenes that are skippable, suddenly deciding to have one that's not skippable, is a bad idea! Oh, okay. Well, I got that out of my chest, just like uh, Mugen got all of his blood and guts out of his stomach area. First thing, when this ends, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to quick save. It's gonna be my, my step number one. God, you know, that never happened before. It's just never happened. I've always just, like, killed those two straw hats. You know what it is? It's probably because I always I used to before kill him from behind. In previous playthroughs, I killed him from behind. Whereas that one, I just walked up to him. And maybe when I walked up to him, it was within view of his buddy. And maybe maybe that was the problem. Okay, can you please end this slow panorama? Quick save, quick save, quick save, quick save. Quick save, quick save. I need to quick save. Please, God, just stop the black screen. Can we please just quick save? Okay. Enough. Oh, Jesus. Fucking buttermilk pancake. Christ. Okay. So, she's in her disguise. I'm gonna quick save one more time, just for old time's sake. Where's the guard on patrol? Oh, he's all the way over there. My lord. That's... He really goes on a trip. Can I just kill this guy right here? I'm, I'm getting impatient, which I'm sure will be the death of me. Literally. <laughs> okay, so let's see. We do this. Yeah, see? See how that was not a problem at all? Okay, perfect. Now, Yuki can come down here and collect her whistle. <laughs> whistle, baby, whistle, baby, let me know. Um, so now, we're going to walk down this bridge. There's no samurai out here. So, she can just walk out totally unmolested. But I like what the designers did. They, they basically showed that they know how to make the disguise not like a total trivializer. Simply by using good level design. Uh, this guard right here is in a really weird spot where other people will see his corpse and come to investigate and raise the alarm if, they, if he's found dead. And there's no great place to drag his corpse uh, in a very short time while this guard is on patrol. So it is there's some tricky stuff going on here for sure. Now this area is a little bit more easy, and I do like that the designers just chose to, you know, have, have one moment where Aiko can really shine, because in previous levels, she's either been optional and like not even, like, like that one, that like that first night level, I really don't think using her was any easier than just using Hayato for the most part, because the disguise was so difficult to get. Um, I don't think I want to kill that guard yet, because I think this guy, this other guard will see me do it. So you have to be, a, you have to be a, like at least, you have to display like at least a modicum of stealth to actually kill all these guys. And I love that you don't need to uh, put your disguise, you don't need to lose your disguise when killing with a hairpin. Not only is that very thematic, but it's awfully convenient too. Though it does make me wonder 
why you lose your disguise when you crouch. I mean, can you really not keep a disguise on while crouching? Anyway, uh, I think from here I should be able to kill this guard. And this guard, I actually think, is in a blind spot. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, that, 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 that other guard could not see him. I'm going to go ahead and run the long way back down instead of jumping, because, again, jumping causes the disguise to be lost. Manipulating objects causes you to lose your disguise as well. Uh, like like when I uh, turn this crane, for instance, my disguise will disappear. Okay, it didn't disappear. Actually, that's not even true. There was that one night level where you could totally like drop a sack of bricks on the samurai. Weird. There was one thing that I did at some point where it caused me to lose the disguise and it surprised me. Hmm, can't remember what it was now. Anyway, so those guys, guards are all dead. Uh, and now Hayato can come in here and collect his um, katana and his shuriken. Alright, so next up we're going to travel... Oh, there's also some more ammunition here for Takuma. There's a ladder to climb up this building if you want to use any of the other characters. Alright, so uh, this guard is on patrol. And if you kill him, like, when he's... Shit. Nope, that didn't work. If, if there is a way that you can kill him without alerting the other guard. Uh, but clearly, I didn't quite nab that very small window. Uh, this straw hat can be killed, actually. And there's, a, there's a well right back here to dump his body in conveniently. Unfortunately, you do, I mean, not uh, unfortunately, uh, just one thing to keep in mind is you do it, you have to watch out for this patrol, and you have to watch out for this guard. You need to make sure that this guard is on patrol away, and that the civilian's not looking either. Okay, let's try this out. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Dump his body in a well. Put the disguise back on. Come on, 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 come on. I like how when they see like her change right before their eyes, they're like, "Nope, just a lady." Oh, I thought you were one of the shogun's assassins, but nope, Dad, never mind. I in a split second you uh put on a robe, and now I trust you completely. Okay. So while they're looking around, having a good time, uh, who should I kill? Th this, 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 this civilian and guard situation is actually deceptively tricky. The civilian is not a, not away long enough. Actually, no. Oh uh, no. Plus, oh, these guards are searching around, so their their view cones are now erratic. Damn it. Okay, so maybe this would be a good time to use. Oh, oh no! I was thinking of having Hayato come over here. There we go. Oh, nope. Oh, there's a guard there too. Shit. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna park everybody a little bit closer, but not do anything more ambitious than that for the time being. Okay. What the hell is that guard doing? Oh, he's that's a oh god. That's that's his patrol, right? And this guard sees him when he's on patrol. All right, these guards are back in their pattern, which is good. So what I'm gonna do here is. Oops. Who sees... Who? Who? Oh my god, was somebody standing or something? I guess I had them come up too close and maybe one of them wasn't wasn't crouching. Because sometimes when you uh, start a new part of the level, uh, they are not crouched. Who's not crouched? Oh yeah, Takuma's just standing. So is Yuki. Okay, so let's go ahead and use the magic of crouching to not be seen. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is once this patrol turns around... I am going to kill this guard and drag his body into this cubby. You have to act very quickly to do this because otherwise the civilian... The civilian d either goes over here to bang on this wood or the civilian goes over here to bang on that wood. And the civilian's not gone long at either task and the guard sees him performing both tasks. Actually, man, you might be able to kill the civilian from right there. I'm not sure. So you have to time it really carefully to make sure the civilian doesn't see you, and you, of course, also to make sure that this guard does not see you either. Okay, now you have to hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, this is going to be close. Okay, that was really close. Luckily, the civilian didn't quite see me. Actually, that's a dead spot. I can just put my disguise back on right from here. Oh, hurry, please. Fuck. Oh, God. I, I got too sloppy. I got too sloppy. I should not have been putting the disguise on while these guards were in the area. And once they saw me, I could have actually clicked on the door to, um, 
Go back inside. Crap, now I have to kill this guard all over again. Alright, so we're going to wait for this patrol to come up here. Uh, and then turn back. And I think I actually have enough time before this guard resumes his patrol. Okay, so now... Oh, shit. I, I uh, did it too soon. Th this guy will hear the guard die if you don't wait for him to get fully engrossed in his task. Maybe it's not an engrossment thing, but just a distance thing. So like I said, a little bit tricky to, to use the disguise to dispatch everyone. Uh, there may be easier ways of doing it if you bring in the other characters. It's just a little bit annoying to have them all running around here. This is fully covered in snow, so if you leave footprints, the guards will investigate. I mean, you can use that to your advantage as well. Okay, so now's the time. Hurry. Okay, over here. Okay, but instead of going in after him, I'm gonna... Trust your intuition. Um, okay, he runs away to get the guards, but the joke's on him because I'm gonna put my disguise back on while he's gone. And so the guards are not gonna know at all where to find me. Uh, the suspicious lady out here is gonna register no suspicion whatsoever. So it's a bit annoying to have the guards running around because um, that means they're not on their pattern, so I can't, like, you know, get things done. But they should return soon enough to their normal routines. I guess I could actually take advantage of the situation a little bit. While they're over there banging on that door, I can kill the civilian who's big pain in the ass. Oh, shoot. Hang on. I need to, I need to get his body. Oh, God. Oh, shit. I fucked up. I fucked up. They're going to raise the alarm when they find that body. Oh, I'm so stupid. I, yeah, I either should have let that civilian alone, or I should have dragged him out back here. And then I would have had to put my disguise on. And, uh, and kill this guard. Okay. Okay. So once the civilian turns away, I'm going to kill this guard. Turn away, civilian. Turn away. You don't have anything. There's nothing. There's nothing for you here. Nothing at all. There we go. What? How do they see that from all the way over there? Oh, I call. You know, I was gonna say I call shenanigans. I don't call shenanigans. I call incompetence. All right. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, remember that one time when I was like, oh, you know, it's not totally trivial with the disguise. It's still a little bit tricky. Yeah. This, this, this just shows, you know. How maybe having some other characters come in here to uh, help you out can can be a boon in this scenario. But anyway, uh, now that these guards are going back to the normal spots, I should be able to just kill that guard. I don't think the civilian ever looks back here. I don't think anyone else is gonna, ever going to see this corpse. Uh, the civilian will eventually... Well, I can just kill him. Uh, once these guards are going backwards in their patrol... I can kill this civilian and drag his body. I said drag his body into this shed. Man, this would be so much harder if the shed wasn't here. I don't even know what I'd do if it wasn't for that shed. That shed's a goddamn lifesaver. All hail the shed. You can also climb up here and um, get down to this area. Problem is that causes you to lose your disguise, so I would prefer to... I would prefer not to do that. I'd prefer to get over to that guard through normal means. Okay, so that's it for all these guards. Actually, no, there's one guard left. There's this guard up here, who is a bit of a tricky one to deal with, like I said, because there's no good place to dump his body. What I'm going to do here is, um, let's just kill him. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Mm, all right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dump his body here. Put my disguise back on real quick. And then and I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna use my um, what's her face? My uh, ability of talking to the guards while wearing a disguise to distract them. So the idea here is that I can queue up a kill with Yuki, and I can queue up. I'm gonna quick save this because this is a delicate operation. A punch 
Oh no! No, that was supposed to be a Q! Oh, God, well, I'm glad I, glad I just quick saved. Ho! Alright, I'm gonna queue up uh, a punch with Hayato. Uh, if I were a little bit more precise, I would definitely um, uh, have gotten Hayato's katana, so it was a kill. And then, let's see if we can queue up a shot on that guard. Alright, let's quick save again. And let's press enter. Okay, now you have to remember when you do this to finish off the guard that is was knocked out but not killed. Okay, so there's that. Uh, let me see, I'm, I'm a little bit pressed for time here in my personal life, so I may need to do a jump cut, but you don't care about that because it'll all look the same to you. Let's go ahead and continue on down. Um, actually, let's go through the secret passage because that way I don't have to walk down the way that the samurai can see. So it's still a little bit tricky here. I'm going to need to run out pretty quick. Run, 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 run. So the samurai does see me, but luckily... Quickly now. Mm, it's, it's on an easy enough mode that he's not going to register it. And then we're going to run across here. Very good. Okay, so we can do some delicate operations here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Kill this straw hat. Trust your intuition. Run. You have to come back pretty quickly. Quickly now. Yes, exactly. Quickly now. Put the disguise back on. Oh, this is going to be close. Shit, that really... That really... Oh, God, it actually... Yeah, it actually alarmed them. Damn it. I was hoping I, I, hoping, I was hoping he would just be like, yeah, It's a lady wearing a robe! This is clearly not the source of my troubles. So, yeah, you have to... You have, the problem is this guard sees the straw hat's corpse. Um, so you need to get rid of the corpse, or at least get it far enough away that... Oh shit, yeah, so the problem is, that if, as I'm taking all this time dragging the corpse away, <sighs> then the guy will actually see me dragging the corpse away, which is also bad. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and take out this straw hat, and I'll do a jump cut after that. We must take... Can I just... Alright, let's go ahead and... Quickly now. Oh, this is gonna work. This isn't going to work. I need to put my disguise back on. Dump the body. Dump the body. Run behind the shed. Put the disguise back on. Okay. For some reason, even though he was right on top of the corpse, he uh, did not raise the alarm, which is just fine by me. So I'm going to go ahead and quick save and do a jump cut. Okay. Wow. That, this... I, I feel like every time I play this game, I'm like, no, 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 no. This is the worst I've ever played. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and take out the samurai. Probably not 100% necessary, but damn if it isn't fun. I'm gonna queue up a shot here. I think I have enough. I think I have enough bullets with Takuma's long-range gun that I can just use it for convenience. Uh, if you ever want to save bullets, of course you can have some of the other characters use their short-range guns and sneak up a little bit closer. But yeah, this straw hat cannot see. This guard is too busy shooting civilians. So, uh, to kill this samurai, we just, all we have to do is make sure that this guard is not right there. Yeah, and, and then and then we should be fine. Okay, sorry for the pause, just making sure I'm recording correctly. Hogily dogily dogily diggle. Um, let's see, which, why, why do I just queue up the, oh, what the? Oh, you don't have a line of sight on that? Oh, for Christ's sake, you jack wagon. I mean, at this point, I might as well just get up close. Yeah, this is fine. Okay. Quick save and action! Bam! Our lives are ours Trust intuition. Okay, so we need to kill some shit. Uh, can I kill this guy? This... Oh fuck, that's a samurai. Samurai's There's a samurai down here, so you kinda have to take the long way up around if you wanna keep the disguise on. Whoops. Okay. I think I just quick save so I can press enter. Perfect. You know what? Why don't we just take this, the slow way around here? I'm gonna go ahead and uh, drag that corpse off the edge so that when the guard comes back from patrol, they don't see it. That guard I cannot kill without the straw hat seeing me. The straw hat, I believe I actually can kill. That's Nobody Nobody actually sees that straw hat. So I have, I have to kill the straw hat. And then I can kill this guard, and then I can, uh, 
come on down here. It's possible, of course, probably just to ninja your way down here. We're just trying to get here and escape, so you don't have to kill this samurai here, but sure does make things easier. What I think I'm going to do, actually, is put my disguise back on. Trust your intuition. Quick save. And uh, harmony. I will draw we'll just eye. chat with these guys. Set up another firing Maybe squad. Alright, I need What's Yuki or Hayato. Perfect. Quick save. And fire! Boom! Okay, so now... We can kill this straw hat here. I hope. Probably. Maybe. Nope! Oh no, no. I, I can kill him. That guy is on patrol. I'm just bad at this game and didn't check. But he's on patrol, so we should be fine to kill him. We are good. Oh, I quick saved. I, I did a masterful job quick saving. Sucked at the game, but I can quick save like a freaking. Oh, no, no, no. I need to avoid the samurai. Kill that guy. You're not part of the solution, civilian, which means you're part of the problem, so you die. It is fun just to run around killing things. Uh, there's absolutely no reason to kill that guard. But he's he's been slapping that woman around. And she deserves better. Bam. Okay, perfect. So now, uh, all that's left here is this guy and his samurai buddy. Nice thing about the samurai is he doesn't actually look at the way down entirely. So he's just very easy to slip past. Do not hesitate. Okay. Trust your intuition. Um, I could I could shoot him and then kill him. I think what I'll try is maybe see if I can if I can kill this guy first. That samurai does have a blind spot. There is no time for grief. Don't wait, stupid. Die, scum! Oh shit. The guy, that that, oh, that alert, you know what? Them being on alert here is probably not that big of a deal. I mean, there's no buildings with reinforcements or anything around here. Probably could have just let that go. Okay, but anyway, let's try this one more time. So Yuki hasn't actually used her whistle. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I ran right into the samurai's cone of view. Good job, Papa Boris. Keeping the pro plays ticking for all the days, as always. Um, get out. No, get out. No, get out. Get out. For fucking Jesus. Mother of... God damn it. Oh, I think I should be a little bit careful, because if I touch him and he sees me, then uh, he will know, because samurai can see through disguises. Okay, let's crouch here. There's a little blind spot there, so if I, um, you know... If I put a trap there and whistle, he might come up there and just die. Can he see through that thing? He actually can't see through it himself, so I'm just going to do this. And then when he's as far away from whistle as he gets, quick save. Whistle, baby. And then just let it happen. Okay, perfect. So now, uh, let's see. Yuki, can she get close enough to shoot him? Shoot that samurai? Don't wait, stupid. My little pistol. Just barely. All right, perfect. Where's Aiko? Will not claim yes. must take a life. Quick save and execution. Bam! All right, that's pretty much everybody. All right. So when you need to tell everybody to do something, it's so awkward having to pass over the three. I'm used to just going one, double click, two, double click, three. Nope, Mugen's dead. What is that? Like a pumpkin? It looks like a little pumpkin thing. It's bizarre. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it somehow. I don't know how. Please like and or subscribe. And I'll see you again soon for possibly the last level of the game. Take care, everybody.